Well, the, the crisis that came in 2008, we did not expect it to come. We didn't prevent it from happening, but I think we made quite quickly a good analysis of why it happened. And we very quickly started to bring the reforms which we needed to stabilize the financial sector, to make it more resilient to future crises. Uh, but the, the economic crisis within the Eurozone uh, was also a result of the fact that Eurozone was an unfinished project. We built only one leg for it, which was monetary policy. But it, it is still, we are halfway through, we are still uh, finalizing a major reform within the EMU, which is Banking Union, where we managed this year to launch the second pillar of it. So we have European supervision by the ECB of the banking sector. We have also the resolution mechanism already uh, for the banks and troubles. Uh, already up and running and now we are working, we are trying, it's politically very difficult, to uh, get the third pillar for the banking union which is the European Deposit Insurance Scheme which is the missing element really to decouple the uh, banking sector from the sovereign crisis which was one of the major problems during the, uh, the crisis. Yes, the crisis hit, we did a lot of reforms uh, we have never, I think, been so mobilized to bring changes to the way Eurozone financial sector function. But we are, I would say, halfway through. We have been stretching the current treaties beyond, I think, the, the possibility that treaties, current treaties give us. So we most likely to continue with the reforms. We will need a treaty change one day. For the time being, also because of the Brexit, of the referendum, um, I say Brexit, but I don't want to have Brexit, so the British referendum, let's, let's call it. We didn't talk about the treaty change, but we clearly see with more clarity that we need a, a new treaty. We need uh, somehow to make the Eurozone, uh, first of all, integrated much more deeply, so we have to finish the reforms. But we also need legitimacy for Eurozone, where decisions are made by politicians without the support of um, adequate um, form, format of European Parliament. Because in the European Parliament we have members coming from member states who are Eurozone members and those who are not. We, I mean, only 19 out of 28 have common currency. So we need some form of uh, European um, uh, parliament that would be the, providing the accountability or legitimacy to the decisions uh, related to the Eurozone. So the public support, I think, today is the biggest challenge. The crisis led to the loss of uh, confidence. We, we lack trust today, in, uh, I would say, between people and politicians, between politicians themselves. Uh, politicians towards European institutions. Everybody has to stand for Europe and everybody has to, everybody, I mean politicians at different levels have to understand that to the crisis which we are still facing and mostly it's migration but also still economic, uh, we need European solutions. I mean, we can disintegrate in individual states which are irrelevant in the global context and I think sometimes we do not understand how dangerous is the global context if we uh, disintegrate. Uh, none of us, even the biggest uh, states, are very small in the global context and uh, that's why Europe has, I think we have no other options but to really make Europe uh, stronger and, and for this it cannot be just a decision by politicians, it must be something that people also are with us.